we're going to palpate the bony landmarks on the humerus. The humerus approximately articulates with the scapula to form the scapular uh, glenohumeral joint, and then distally with the radius and the ulna. So we start on the top of the scapula, locate the acromial end of the clavicle, slightly laterally, onto the acromium of the scapula. From there, you're going to slide just slightly distally onto the bony uh, tubercle, uh, which represents the greater tubercle of the humerus. While maintaining your contact on that point, take the person's arm and you're going to gently rotate it passively externally and you're going to fall into a little groove because the greater tubercle is going to move out from under your fingers. This groove is the intertubercular groove or bicipular groove. This is where the tendon along the head of the biceps passes through. If you continue through external rotation, you're going to come on to the lesser tubercle. So going from internal rotation, you move externally, where you're going to feel the greater tubercle, slightly go on to the intertubercular groove, and then on to the lesser tubercle. From there, you're going to go all the way down distally, almost in line with the greater tubercle. There's, on the distal lateral aspect of the humerus, there's a little bony protuberance called the lateral epicondyle. And then on the distal medial aspect uh, is the medial epicondyle, which is slightly larger than the lateral epicondyle. 